today I'm gonna be showing you guys three viral must-have effects on your music videos. There is so much sauce in this video, and I'm super excited to hop into it and show you guys everything I know. But this video is sponsored by my brand new viral effects pack that we'll get into later. 70 plus effects, transitions, and looks in After Effects, but let's hop right into this video. So opened up in the timeline here, we have this NBA Young Boy music video. You guys can see the viral effects pack that I was talking about earlier on the right side here. Look how many different effects are inside of here. We'll get into that a little bit later, but let's create the three viral effects that I'm sure you guys are going to do for completely free. So to get started, when it comes to creating effects inside of After Effects, the first thing I always do is I right click, go over to new, and then create a new adjustment layer. Now, when it comes to creating effects inside of After Effects, there are a couple things that some people use and some people don't have. Sapphire is a big one. Sapphire is a plugin that you can use to get like way more distorted and cool looks inside of After Effects. If you guys do not have Sapphire, I highly recommend you guys get it. But we're gonna start off with S underscore Flicker, which is a go-to Sapphire look. If we go ahead and drag this on top of our clip here, you guys can see we get a flickering look on our music video. And if you want to turn up the intensity, all you have to do is go ahead and turn up the amplitude here. Like so. Mama, call the drama. so it's a good way to add a little bit more depth to your videos. Mama, call the drama. Mama. Now that we have flicker on our videos, I'm going to create another adjustment layer here. And for this one, I'm going to press Command Shift D in between these two clips and then click and delete this other one just so we have it on this clip right here. Now we're going to go ahead and search up Transform. We're going to drag and drop that on top of our adjustment layer now. And I think the biggest thing when keeping the music video engaging is making sure that there's lots of movement. And we're going to be doing this with Transform. So you want to unclick Use Composition's Shutter Angle here. And you want to turn up your shutter angle all the way to 360 just to begin with. Now we're going to set our scale at the beginning at 100 and now we're gonna go to the very end and bring this up and you guys can see here it's gonna zoom into young boy there Mama, call the and if we press u on our keyboard we can actually move this keyframe to where we want it i'm gonna put it about here and then i'm gonna go ahead to the very beginning and keyframe the position and then i'm also gonna move the position here at the end and then i'm gonna hit u and then bring these two over so we have this zoom in. Mama, call the and then we actually need to fix this because it does last for one more frame just like so. Mama. Now, once you have these easy ends, Mama. they're gonna be a lot smoother. What you could also do as well is we're gonna highlight them. We're gonna highlight the first two. Go over to our graph editor, right click. We're gonna highlight all of them. Go over to our graph editor, right click, and go over to edit speed graph. Mama, call the now that we have a little zoom with our Mama. Clip, we can get started on some of the cool distorted effects. So in between these two clips here, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new adjustment layer and we can have it match the entire thing. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on S underscore hotspots here. Now what this does is it kind of makes the video dark as you can see here. It looks really, really cool on his chains. If we go ahead and turn up the threshold here you can see we can make it normal and then back to dark so i'm gonna keep create a keyframe and then blur input here hit you on our keyboard we're gonna go back a couple of frames here and we're gonna turn this up or turn this down i guess to zero and then also um we want to make this one zero as well and we're gonna copy these keyframes and bring them here so we kind of have like this fade to darkness effect here but you can still kind of see him in the shadows we'll go ahead and do that and i'm just gonna turn up the blur here you guys can see we have a super super clean look and if you do want you can go ahead and turn down the flicker as well super super clean effects there i just like the clean looking stuff i don't like stuff that's a little bit too intense and now i think it's the perfect time to go in with the viral effects pack here all you have to do is right click create a new adjustment layer just like we were doing before and let's say we want to have a really cool kind of like hit going in here we can go ahead and just drag and drop our shake it on top of here and you guys can see instantly we have a really fire effect going in there all we have to do is right click create a new adjustment layer again if we want to have one kind of right here we can go ahead and add on puddle warp transition and i'm gonna add in this color hit here super super if you guys are interested in grabbing this you can grab it down below and use code 15 off to get 15 percent off now let's go ahead and sauce this up a little bit more i showed you guys how you can create some basic ones we can see these ones use like s warp chroma and stuff like that so we're gonna go ahead create a new adjustment layer and show you guys how you could use those type of effects here so s warp chroma is a big one in my opinion let's say we want to add like a little you know kind of effect here you can see uh, it's kind of warping the sides and to use s warp chroma pretty much what you want to go ahead and do is you want to be playing around with the warp amount here as you guys can see so if we keyframe the warp amount here at zero you know what? we'll make it higher we'll have it like here at like 1.1 you 
you guys can see and then we'll bring it back down for when that effect ends and then we can move it over just so it like lingers a little bit here that's the whole thing is you kind of want to have it linger towards the end there we go just adds a lot more depth and if you want to add something like grain to this as well i think it also adds a huge stylistic advantage to everything uh, the grain is really going to blend everything in my opinion so we'll do final output and we get a nice little grain effect on there what we can do as well is move this one over a little bit and then also uh, we're gonna go ahead and move these keyframes over as well just so it happens right on the and we get some super super clean looks hopefully you guys learned something from this video and drop me a comment down below letting me know what effects you guys want to see next these are just my favorite kind of viral effects that you can use to stylize a video and kind of up the level so if you guys are interested in learning more or checking out the viral effects pack that'll be linked down below once again 70 plus presets that you guys can fully use on your videos and customize to your liking as well thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video peace